Hello, my name is Jorge Perez. I'm a software QA engineer at Wiseline. And today we are going to be using GCOF Actions and Google Cloud Continuous Registry by creating a continuous integration pipeline for our project. So let's start by explaining what is GCOF Actions. Basically, GCOF Actions is an automatic workflow creator based on events. So what are these events? So basically, any event that happened on a GitHub repository, for example, a pull request or a, a push to a specific branch, all these events trigger jobs in GitHub Actions. So the amazing thing is that with GitHub Actions, we can create actual pipelines uh, which run directly on GitHub. So these pipelines can, can run on, on a Windows host or Linux host, for example. And the great thing is that right now, as of today, uh, this is entirely free for public repositories. There is only a price if you're if you are working with private repositories. So for this demo, we are going to be using this, this new tool by GitHub. And well, of course, uh, it is only compatible for GitHub repositories. Uh, so, when, so yes, we are going to be creating a pipeline and then publishing our Docker image to GCP to the container, container registry system. So, so before starting the demo, uh, let's just first start describing uh, what is this project about. So in our sample repository, we have uh, three different folders. So basically this is a React application, which is formed by a backend project and a frontend project. So each of the two projects have their own Docker Compose file. So we are, we are going to be using this Docker Compose file to, to build the different containers that this app is formed by. And after creating the containers and running the containers for the backend and frontend application, we will be also using another Docker container to run test scripts. So basically this folder is a WebDriver.io automation framework. So with, with this framework, we already have some tests created that we will run against the, the front-end project for now. So um, by, by running the test, it will be the final validation in our pipeline to make sure that uh, any, any changes that were created into the code uh, didn't break anything. So yeah, this is going to be the application that we are going to be using for our demo. It is entirely based in Docker. So Docker is going to be essential for, for this course. Hello. Okay, so now uh, we are going to do all the configuration that we need to set up in the GitHub Actions in order to, to be able to connect to the Google Cloud services. And so basically here in GitHub, we have an option on the settings tab. In the secrets option, you can set up any environment variables or secrets that, that you want to store and you want you don't want to share with anyone this is this is a safe method so do so you don't check in uh, important uh, security aspects in your in your repository so for example here i set up uh, three different variables which is the GCP project ID, the uh, G Cloud key, and a G Cloud email. So basically, for my project, the GC project ID 
is the one that I am using here, right? So I'm storing this variable in the secrets and for the gcloud email and you need to basically set up a, a service account for GitHub Actions so it can connect successfully to Google Cloud. And uh, in Google Cloud, you can also generate a, a key so the authentication can be made with Google Cloud. So basically it's the email and the G Cloud key that, that you need to store in your secrets in, in the GCOF uh, settings uh, options. So once we have uh, this set up, then we will continue with the next step. Okay, so now we're gonna start to, to create our pipeline in GCOF actions. In order to do this, you can go directly to the Actions tab and then you can select a new workflow. And when you select uh, a new workflow, um, GCOF Actions gives you different templates already available for you. So this is really useful if if you are creating, for example, an OGS application or deploying something to a Kubernetes service. So these are templates already available to make it easier for you to create your workflow. So for now, uh, I already have a, a template file created. So I'm just going to skip this step. Uh, but I, I just wanted to show you how it, how it looks. So if you click, for example, here, set up uh, a new workflow, it will create the template. Uh, so for example, in, in this case, there is a job that is going to run in a Ubuntu machine. And, and then there, there are different steps, right? For, so as this is a Node.js application, first uh, it's going to run two parameters with npm ci and npm test. Uh, but for the purpose of, of this demo, I already have this file available. And so I'm just going to explain uh, what are all the steps in this pipeline. And so uh, the first thing in our pipeline is of course the, the name of, of our workflow. In this case, uh, the name that I gave it is GCP pipeline and then uh, we establish when is this workflow going to be triggered in in my ex in my example this is going to be triggered whenever there is a push to the master branch or a pull request to the master branch in any of those two cases the the GitHub actions workflow is going to be triggered and then we have the environment variables. Uh, so this is the format that, that we use for to establish the different uh, variables that we're going to use in our job. In, a, in my case, this, these are the variables that I use in order for the project to be built correctly. Uh, we use a node environment development and, and then we use other variables that are used by the, by the project. In this case, for example, the, uh, I have a backend service where I host a user service and also a movie service. So basically I just give the name of the uh, Docker container and the port where it is going to be exposed. And also I'm using the project ID from GCP which in this case, this is the format of on how to read a secret variable in GitHub Actions. Uh, so you can directly invocate the secrets GC project ID, which I showed in the previous video, but I, I can show it again. Um, here in the settings options, we have the secrets. So as you can see, the GC project ID is the one that, that I invocate in this, in this part. 
So this environment variable can be used in any part of our job. Okay, so now we're, we're going to go to the job section. And this is the format that, that we follow. First, we need to specify which is the machine that we're going to use for our workflow. In my example, I am using a machine uh, with Ubuntu, but there are also some Windows machines available in case you, you want to, to test out. And uh, the first step that we always need to do is the checkout. So this is the actions checkout uh, command, which is already available uh, in cloud, so you can just invocate it directly. So uh, this line of code, what, what it's going to do is basically check out the repository, so, so it could be, so the code could be available in the workflow. And in the next step that I'm going to do is create a Docker network. Uh, in my, my project has a backend project, but also a front-end project. So in order for them to communicate correctly, uh, they need to be in the same network. So the first step that we need to do is to create a network. And then uh, as, the, as the apps are already prepared to be built, the, the only command that you need to run is docker compose build. So basically this command, what it's going to do is to use the docker compose file, which is in the root directory. And this docker compose has all the instructions to build up all the environments needed for, for this project. And so in this example, you can see that we have different services uh, for this application. We have a user's database, which is a Postgres database. We also have a movie database, uh, also from Postgres. And each of these two are in a separate container. And then we have uh, two different services. And uh, one of them is the user service, which is the one that basically connects to the user's database. So it's the API to, in order to connect to the to that database. And there is also a movie service, which connects to the movie's database. And uh, at the end, we have a service called web service. Basically, this is the front-end service that is going to expose a React application. And this React application is going to consume the user service and the movies, movie service. So this Docker Compose file is already prepared to, to bring up the, the application. And as you can see at the end, uh, we have the the network that that this that all these uh, services are going to use, right? So in this case, the name is G Cloud Example Pipeline. And so in my example, as I showed before, I create this network in the second step, and then I build all the containers, and at the end. I, I run the containers so they can be available for any testing. So this is the process to, to bring up the, the application. Um, so I, I am go I'm just going to commit this code. Mm. demo for GitHub Actions. Okay, and then I'm going to push this code. Once I push this code, uh, if we go to the repository, we can see automatically that there is a new job running. So right here we can see it. So if you click, if we click it, 
and click the job, we can see all the steps for our project. In this case, this is the actions checkout, for example, as I showed previously. Then we have the, the create network, the Docker network. And then we have all these steps that are going to bring up our application. So in the next video, I'm going to show uh, how to add uh, a test a test automation framework in order to run tests against this application. Hello. So on, on our previous video, we showed how to create a, a workflow in GCOF Actions. So we can see right here the, the workflow already finished. So in this case, in this example, you can see the the last part of the job was to run the containers to bring up the applications. So as you can see, all the services are created and they are already up. But there's no case of only building the application if we don't run any test against this application, right? So verify that everything is working as expected. So what we are going to do now is to add some test to our to our workflow. So after the application brings up, we are going to add uh, two more steps, which I have here. Mm. Okay, the first of our step is going to refresh our containers so they can be available for our test. And the next step is the actual implementation of the of testing. So we are going to run our test by first uh, nav navigating to our WebDriver IO automation framework and then we are going to run the docker compose command which is going to to run scripts directly in a docker container. This, this project is already configured to, to run in docker. And so this has just a small example. And we have uh, three scripts that are going to run against our React application. One of them is verifying the title of the application and then verifying a negative scenario for a wrong username and password and a positive scenario when you register a new user. So what we're going to do is save this that we added and we are going to push it to our repository. adding test scripts. So, so automatically when, when, when we push the, the repository, it is going to start running here. If we go to the action staff, we can see that the, the new job is running because we we check in new code into the master branch. So build started to run. So this is going to take some time, so I'm going to stop the video for now. And once it's finished, we can continue with, with the next video. So on our previous video, we added some tests to our workflow to validate that the application is working as expected. 
So we can see right here that the job already finished successfully. So we can see that there is a, a part which is where the tests are run in this example. So we can see all the logs right here and at the end we can see the actual tests that, that run right here. So here we have the, the three different tests what we, that we set up in our framework and we can see that they run directly in this GitHub Actions machine. So this, the good thing about this GitHub Actions uh, tool is that we can run directly our tests here. We don't need to, to use a, a, a virtual machine or you, you don't need to set up anything. Basically in the workflow you just specify what type of machine you want to use for your workflow and inside this machine you can it's a, this machine is already prepared with docker so you can run any docker commands that you want so it's, it's really useful for for any developer so in this example we can see that the our test passed so we can say that our build was successful and so what we are going to do now is to add and the Google Cloud integration. For this example, what we are going to do is just to push our Docker images that we already built because we, we already verified that, that these images are working correctly with our test. So the next step that we are going to do are the following ones. Uh, first, we need to authenticate, of course, with Google Cloud because we need to use a service account. So in this case, we have this, this step, which is authenticate, authenticate into Google Cloud Platform, which uses this specific actions, which is already available to be used. This is already configured for cloud. So as you can see, it uses a service account email, which is which you need to, to create in GCP, and also the service account key, which you also create in, in GCP. So this step is basically for authentication. Then we have the next step, which is configure Docker to use Google Cloud Platform. So we, we just run this command so, so it can be available for Google Cloud. And then the next thing that we are going to do is tag our images and push them to Google Cloud. So right here we have them. We have the step tag images. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five different containers images that are created, that are created in, in our project. So the first thing that we need to do is tag these images that are created in our uh, pipeline workflow. So for example, this one is created at the moment of building the two containers. Um, when you run the container, for example, you have all the different images. And let me see if it shows right here. For example, you can see that we have the Google Cloud Pipeline web service uh, latest. This is the, the image which is created by our Docker Compose. If we scroll a little, we should be able to see the, the other images. Let's see. Um, right here, for example. 
we have the another image for the movie service we scroll up we, we can see some other the Google Cloud Pipeline user service so basically all the images that are built by, by our workflow we need to push them to container registry so they can be later deployed to a Kubernetes cluster or to a to a virtual machine in GCP so but for now we're going to just show how to push them into the container registry and so as we, quick, as we can see in our workflow we have the five instructions to tag the, the five images that we already built in our project and we tag them with this format gcr.io and then the project ID which is the GCP project ID and then this is the name that you a name that you can you can give to, to your image in, in my case I just use the same name web service web service and in order to identify which version of the container image we are pushing we use at the end the github commit so with, with this commit we, we can identify uh, which version we are using for for our container and so at the end we have the, the, the last but not less important step which is actually pushing our images to the container registry so uh, the command to push them is docker push and then we, we give the name of the container that, that we tagged before right so basically it's going to upload the latest image into Google Cloud so I already have uh, this this run for another example so I'm just going to show you how it looks on GCP so basically if you go to the container registry right here we can see that we have all the different images that we have pushed from our workflow for example the movie service so in case I, I run another build right now I'm going to see a new version right here for the movies TV image so basically our Jacobs action project is already configured to connect with with Google Cloud Platform and inside the Google Cloud Platform you can use all these images to create a, a deployment in a Kubernetes cluster but for the purpose of, of this demo we are going to just focus on the actual pipeline and how it looks so basically this is the the end of this workflow i hope you like the this video and see you on the next time thank you